This is it, Phil. Ray Jeans, pumped centre of southern Spain. 12 quid for a cup of tea. I don't want to be here. Good, that's more like it. Now, you do actually get very rich and very famous people coming in here. This magazine details some of them. You got Andrew Ridgely, Sean Connery, Brooke Shields, they're all in here. Let's go and meet some of those beautiful people. Oh, God, do we have to? We won't get in anyway. I'll get us in, Phil. I'm not known as Balaam's Mr. Trendy for nothing. Come on. Nice to see Patty in the club, Phil. Patty? Patty who? Patty Litchfield. Good of him to pay for the poo. What? The shampoo. Yes. Who was that that you and Ad Khashoggi were chatting to? Oh, him, yeah. Um, Eric Bristow. Yes, that's while I was playing backgammon with Princess Caroline of Monaco, wasn't it? That's right, yes. Yeah, she came in with uh, Thora Heard and Harry Worth, didn't she? There was a whole bunch of them, in fact. There was uh, Malcolm Muggeridge, John Craven, Dennis Skinner, Mary Peters, Peter Glaze, Phil. Roger Hunt, Fred Emery, Kathy McGowan, Peters and Lee, Julian Pettifer, Hugh Lloyd, Phil. Harry Worth and Thora Heard again, Robert Runtsey, Brian Paul and the Tremolos, good old James Last, Peter Purvis. Finished. Freddie Parrotface Davis, the Harry Stone and Five, Pans People, Jackie Charlton, Muriel Young, Red Adair, Craig Douglas, Pip Hinton, Peter Paul and Mary, Kenneth Wollstoneholm, Reggie Maudling and, um... No, I've forgotten what his name is now. Come here, Phil. Now, what do you think you're playing at? Yeah, I'm sorry, Arthur. Harry Stoneham only came in with four, didn't he? You know what I mean. Yes, I do know what you mean. And, and I know you think that mentioning all your glitzy nothings will increase our ratings. But I am not going to pander to them, Arthur. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't have sex with someone on the programme just to increase the ratings, would you? Anyway, you made it all up. Mm. I think we should see what really happened when we tried to get into regimes. Oh, I must say, I fancy a bit of a bot, don't you, Phil? No, I don't. Not here, no. I wonder who'll be in here. Probably also. I bet Natasha Kinski or something Natasha like that. Natasha Kinski. It doesn't matter as long as she's in here. Yeah. Do I see a membership card, please, gentlemen? Um, yeah, well, we're not actually members. Uh, can we just pay for tonight? That'll be all right, will it? Well, I've got a few quid here. No, I'm afraid that's not acceptable. Could you just please? Look, hang on. Well, what's wrong with it? Come on. What's wrong, mate? I'm sorry. I want to go in. I told you this would happen. Look, I'm sorry. I don't see why you're being so unreasonable. I've got a suit on and everything, haven't I? Why don't you save that money to buy bandages, OK? Up the stairs. Why Come do you on. want to go in there if they don't I want I don't like this bloke. He's exceedingly mouthy. Okay. Up the <laughs> stairs. Move it! The most popular form of entertainment in Spain is the bullfight, or in Spanish, corrida. This death in the afternoon, as it is called by the famous observer of Spanish life, Tommy Steele, is the ritualistic slaughter of a bull beneath the pitiless afternoons. No, thank you. Yes, um, the sun is so integral a part of the event that if it is raining, the corrida is postponed. The outcome is then decided by a local bulls panel. Here are some results from a particularly damp Sunday in April in Torremolinos. Matador 6, Bulls nil. Here in Marbella, Matador 6, Bulls nil. And in Figueres, hometown of Salvador Dali, Matador 6, deck chair. With the development of the animal rights movement, more and more Spaniards have turned to the alternative version of this blood sport, the vegetarian bullfight, or Corrida Legumbres. Instead of a bull, the matador teases, humiliates, and finally puts to the sword a selection of fresh vegetables. Although the odds are stacked heavily against the vegetables, there have been instances of them fighting back. In 1979, the famous vegetarian matador, El Nut Roasty, was gored to death by a turnip. The second most popular form of entertainment in Spain is flamenco, or in Spanish, flamenco. The fourth most popular form of entertainment, which isn't actually very popular at all, is the ancient art of barbilla hondo, or deep chin. Native to Andalusia, barbilla hondo is a form of classical theatre introduced centuries ago by the Phoenicians. Hey, 
Felipe, Felipe, you look a bit down in the mouth. Yes. What is the matter? Oh, my dog, it has got no nose. That's no problem. Neither have you. <laughs> but first, a song. We have got no arms or legs, arms or legs, arms or legs. We have got no arms or legs, but we are very happy. We are just a great big head, great big head, great big head. We are just a great big head. Let's hope we don't get acne. In 1939, the first thing Franco did after coming to power was to ban Barbia Hondo Theatre on the grounds of its political subversiveness. Franco, Franco, Franco is a git. Franco is a git. Franco hey, is a git. Felipe, you want a banana? Franco is a pig? Oh, yes, please, Arturo. Franco is a bastard. Yeah. On Franco's death, the Barbia was reinstated only to be banned again two years later. It was banned not for reasons of politics, not for reasons of taste, but because it was shit. And now to close, the Arturo y Felipe dancing spectacular. Oh, ready Arturo? Ready Felipe. One, One two, two, three, four. four. It's an incredible fact that at any given time, nearly 60% of the inhabitants of Marbella are Spanish. Senor Gonzalez, as the manager of a busy hotel, you must have definite opinions about the British. Si. Yes. Bueno, la mayoría de ustedes, los británicos, well, um, most of you British. Are, uh, very decent, although <laughs> you're not always uh, um, as generous as we would like with the tipping. Of course, we get some guests who are um, badly educated, aggressive, and frankly, violent. However, wait a minute. I didn't say violent, I said violent. Your Spanish hasn't improved since you came here, has it? You've mistranslated several important strawberries, like violets. Not strawberries, not violets! Thank God I give down with this. Your Spanish is rubbish! And pull yourself together, mate. Men don't cry in space. It's all right, I'll help you, Phil. I am a macho pig and I apologise for upsetting Phil. Why don't you leave me to my miserable little life and tell the truth about the polluted beaches of the Costa del Sol? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, thank you very much indeed, Senor Gonzalez. Not far from here, near Fuengarola, is a famous holiday spot called Playa de las Chemicales, where the sea is so polluted with detergent that last time she was here, Nanette Newman was able to wash over 17,000 baking trays. Luckily, our local beach is clean and the sea unpolluted. And what better way to spend an afternoon than lying on a beach like this, soaking up the warm Mediterranean sun? Of course, long periods of exposure to the sun give you wrinkles, premature ageing of the skin and increases your chances of getting skin cancer. I shouldn't worry, Phil. Chances that happening are about as likely as getting run over by a Guinness lorry. Ah, well, home tomorrow. No more sun. Here, yeah. I'll tell you what, Phil. All this, like, you know, hot sun and that. Yeah. All, like, sun and all. Yeah, that's and, it. And all this, like, you know, yeah. women and that. Yeah, right. You know, well, makes me, uh, well, makes well, me feel, you know. What's that then? Well, you know, it makes me feel a bit like, uh, what, What's that? You know, it makes me feel like, you what, know. What, Chris Brees Jones? Yeah. I wonder when they're getting their all over tans, if they stick matchsticks between their toes. How many days have you been here so far? Two. Two days? You've got a tan like that? Yeah. Well, have you been using Baco for That's right, before? yeah. I've been in the sun, <laughs> the old foil round, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does seem to work a treat, doesn't it? That's right, and it also provides a tasty snack halfway through the day, I suppose. This is true. You think yeah. I'd look good in that? Try it. All right, I'll, I'll nip out the back and yes, try it on. Please. Hey, your lipstick's good. Where did you get that from? <laughs> 
in a, in a shop. In a Arthur, shop. We are not using these box pops to flirt. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Oh, then. Are we? Oh, that's <laughs> there we are. Good news. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> I think it's rather fetching. Yeah. Well, I'll take that, please. Yes. How much is it? Um, eight thousand pesetas only. Ah. For you, special price for you. Um, and you say you're skint. <laughs> Well, it's not been a bad time here, has it, Phil? No. Seems like ages ago that we arrived. So let me get this straight. I'm really annoyed because we're not in this remote mountain village and that you've dragged me off to Marbella. That yeah, it? that's right. And you're also annoyed that I keep trying to mention this travel company I'm supposed to have booked us up with. Oh, yeah. What's it called again? Icarus. Icarus, that's it, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, serious. Yeah. Uh, Couple of bits on the beach. Mm -hmm. This bit in Ronda looks a bit dull. Yeah, Phil, you know I was talking about that thing where you draw two eyes on your chin and that. Yeah. Why don't we do some of that? No, nah, it's a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll do it if we can't think of anything else. Oh god. We've got a bit of a problem, I think. What's that? Well, we haven't got an end. Hmm. I know. I know. We'll have us standing somewhere really dramatic. And we'll say, like, dead serious. So there we have it. Marbella on the south coast of Spain. Is it just a flashy resort for the idle rich? Yes. Or is it the essence of Spain? Good, Good night. night. Yeah, that'll do. OK, ready? Dos cervezas, por favor, senor. Dos cervezas, Arthur. Dos cervezas, that means two beers. Good idea, Phil. Why have we stopped here? Well, we've got to do that bit about the essence of Spain before the signature check.